Max Inc. Radio and Civic Media. We are local music. Heard a bison. Brand new music from them that's called Storm Rolling In. And wow, I'll circle back to that in just a second. Straight <laughs> back to the 70s I just yeah. went, Jimmy. Hold on Woo! one second. I just want to take care of some quick business here. I just okay. want to tell everybody to go to civicmedia.us, grab the app. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. If you want to call us, you could call us right from the app. If you want to text us, you can also do that. Uh, or you can just call 844-967-2789. If you've got a question for one of our guests, yeah. love to have that. Oh, absolutely. And you can find all the details plus all the podcasts network-wide at civicmedia.us. Let's go back to that song now. That just blew me away. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Wow is right. Um, okay, Ben Lacuda. We all know Ben, basically, as, let's just say he's a stellar drummer. <laughs> and we know him for his skills in the award-winning band The Cuz, which was Distant Cousins. Yes. yes, they've won tons of awards. We've seen them play. They're so much fun. But then he comes along and says, hey, Terry. Check out my new project. <laughs> what is this, Ben? What is going on? This is uh, this is the end result of whatever goes on in my head, <laughs> <laughs> which can be a kind of a scary place to be wow. sometimes. But oh. uh, um, yeah, Herd of Bison is a band that I started in 2017 when I was at McNally Smith College of Music, and uh, now now I uh, it's still together. It's a completely different lineup. Um, but, uh, yeah, completely different tell, lineup. T tell us the lineup because uh, yeah. oh obviously there was a female vocal mm -hmm. in there that mm -hmm. was that was part of the mind-blowing there. <laughs> Who's in the band? What do they yeah. do? So it's seven people. Oh, jeez. Seven well, people. So we'll a... have to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> <in the next hour. laughs> so, it, so it's seven people. It, it's me. I, I, obviously, I play drum set. Uh, mm -hmm. I also play in that song. Uh, uh, all the keyboards that you heard were me as well. Oh, jeez. Um, and uh, then we have a bass player. His name is Nick Kirstead. We have a keyboard. We have another keyboard player who you're gonna hear on the ne on the next song. Um, his name is Paul Fashino. Then we have a guitar player named Francisco Moncayo. We have the female vocalist. His name is uh, Delaney Glyman. The male vocalist is uh, Gilliam Robles. And the rap the the rapper is Thomas Fischer. Oh, I like that. Now, a none lot. of these people, it, I, I don't recognize their names. Are they from uh, Wisconsin? None of them are from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> is this a Zoom band? No, this is uh, actually all of these people I met at Berkeley, at Berkeley College of Music in wow. Boston, Massachusetts. So now are they spread out at at all different locations after school? Well, so the, actually, all of them except for me and Thomas are still students. So they're even though even though they're spread out for the summer, they'll all be back in Boston for the fall. And you said you're going back to Boston too. Yes, I am because I mean, if, if I want to keep working with them, it makes sense that I should be where they are. <laughs> did, did you fall in love with the East Coast? Um, oh, I still oh, like. Oh, that was pause. a big pause. Why? <laughs> I you know I still like the Midwest better. Yeah, I mean, yeah. lobster, Agreed. clam bakes. You know they're pretty good, but <laughs> eventually, eventually I get I, I, I get to the point where I really just want like a steak. Yeah, you know some some large Midwest <laughs> filling meal, a, a, a brat, exactly, a brat. Brat. cheese yep. curds. Yeah. Brat, yeah. Brat. It's hard to beat a brat and a beer. <laughs> well, the good thing that brings you back here too is the cause is still together. This is true. Okay, and this you have true. a bunch of shows coming up now the rest of this summer. Yes, we do. This actually uh, next weekend we're playing four shows in four days. <laughs> none of them, none of them are shorter than three hours. You <laughs> wow. guys. <laughs> You're Crazy. an animal. Crazy. Yeah. No kidding. So it's it's going to be a weekend. Yeah. Let's get back to the It's a good herd. thing you guys aren't addicted to cocaine because it would <laughs> oh, be just like, you know, out of hand. I had a yeah, feeling you were. That's why I thought you know, I'm going to keep this conversation going before Rocker jumps in and says something like that. I wasn't going to bring it up. No. You know? no, 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 no. Good job, Rocker. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. What do you want people to know about this new project and, and why you're doing this? And, and, I mean, what do you want to happen with this? Well, so... You know, Jimmy. Jimmy said that mm -hmm. he was transported back to the seventies. Oh, and totally. I, that's, that's probably a good thing. Well, that um, was me who said that. Oh, that was you. Who said, <laughs> I could somebody, get out of the eighties. Somebody said that. <laughs> but um, my my goal, I guess, it's uh, admittedly it's it's a very artistic thing to say, and mm -hmm. it's also a very ambitious thing to say. But my goal is every. It seems to me that every generation of music listeners since the sixties has had people that are doing things purposely. Not the way everybody else is doing. Uh -huh. Like Frank Zappa. Like Frank Zappa. Uh -huh. like, like the Grateful yeah. Dead. Like the Grateful Dead. Like mm -hmm. Rush. Like Gen like Genesis. Like Dream Theater. Like Tool. Yep. Like Yes. Yep. Like King Crimson. All those bands. And so I guess what I'm trying to do with this band is do that for this generation. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's gonna work, <laughs> but 
it, I can it, certainly I can certainly do my best. Yes, and the music does hook you. I mean, once Good. you start listening to it, you're like, okay, I got to hear this to the end now Good. because where is this going? Good. Yeah. Good. So you write all the music. You do you write the words and everything too? So so far anyway, I've I've been the writer of all the music okay. and all of the lyrics that have a melody to them. <laughs> okay. But you don't sing. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. All that's right. a, that's very uh, uh, Neil Peart of you. Ah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I, I learned from the best. Well, yeah. you know what? You nice. know what? You know what the drummers say? The drummers say the drummer is the most important in the band. Oh, they always say. Oh, that. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, hundred percent of the drummers will say that for sure. It's true. So the new album, when is it coming out? Or, or is that right? A new album, new CD, right? That's correct. We're working on a new album right now. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out yet, but I do know. <laughs> you guys are a little busy. <laughs> well, I do know that they, that uh, all seven of us are congregating here in uh, in Madison and actually technically in Oregon okay. um, uh, in August, and we're going to shoot a live music video. Ooh. For the you know for this new album, so we're going to set up in the Oregon High School PAC. We're going to choreograph the lights to the music, nice. and uh, we're going to get a video from many different uh, uh, camera angles. I think you should invite us to have. Uh, we can be in the audience and just yeah. hang out. Are the kids going to be there? Oregon, the Oregon uh, students. I haven't invited them, oh. <laughs> but that's that's specifically because be, that is specifically because if I if I invite an audience in, I have to pay more money. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll, we'll sneak in on the side door or something like that. Yeah. So, uh, how do we it, keep up with you as far as like herd of bison? If we want to follow you, and I have to say, check out the website because the introductions. <laughs> of each member in this band is hilarious. It gives you the best idea of who these people are. <laughs> yeah, really you know, fun. it would have been so boring to be, you know, to to just have like, oh, Francisco Moncayo. Well, he's from Monterey. It, it, it yeah. would be so be so boring to do that. So, you know. Oh, it's, it's instead fun. he's the keeper of the band Mezcal. <laughs> yes, he is. Very nice. <laughs> oh man. Okay, and what is the website? The website is simply herdofbison.com. Okay. Herd, by the way, is H E R D. Yeah. So it's the the noun herd of bison, not the. <laughs> oh yeah, I've heard of bison. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You you said that for my benefit, didn't you? <laughs> well, I said that because uh, people have made that joke to me endlessly. I say, oh, oh. my band heard of bison, and they well, say, oh yeah, I've heard of bison. <laughs> or or if it, if it had a, a a question mark at the end, right? Exactly. Ah, exactly. Ah, nice. Awesome. Any live shows here uh, in Madison for not, herd of bison? Not yet. Okay. I'm going to be Ooh. working on getting some for. Probably for next summer. Ben? Okay. Oh, next summer, huh? Okay. But, uh, Woo. Yeah, stay tuned. We, we would invite you in the devil's lair, but I'm not sure we could fit seven people in here. <laughs> yeah, well, plus, plus there has been us. discussion, but I guess yeah. we'll have to see how this works out. Well, yeah. By then, Jimmy, we should Woo. have a bigger space. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh, uh, that could be a good way to break it in, That too. would be fun. Mm. That so, would be a lot of fun. We got this new song here. It's called Surround It. It's brand new. It's brand new. Brand this is, new. No one's ever heard this, right? Heard, well, unless heard they... a bison? No one ever heard a bison of this? Ah! <laughs> the, only, <laughs> the, only wow. reason, the only reason they might have heard it is if they were lucky enough to find it originally. So, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I only have the copy. Packed now, into a server yeah, somewhere. Jimmy K does. Yeah. Tell, tell us about this song. Yeah. This song, uh, so we wrote this song. Actually, this is a re-release of this song. Uh, originally, it was released uh, on our album Herd Mentality, which <laughs> came out in... Um, I remember. Yeah, I heard of that. In... Uh, in <laughs> Jokes are too easy with that. <laughs> but uh, but so this album came out in uh, late November of 2021, and this song was written. All the songs on that album are were written about situations that I saw come about because of COVID. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, so this one this one was this one was um, like you, you guys you, you guys probably remember a week or two after lockdown hit. We started seeing all these pictures, mm-hmm. and you know, for me, I, for me, I go, I went to Berkeley, so I saw pictures of Boston, but we saw pictures of Madison, we saw mm-hmm. pictures of L.A. and New York, where all of a sudden there was nobody outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so it was, it was written yeah. about. It was written about that. So really, the extended title of the song is "Surrounded by Emptiness." Amazing. And I th- weren't you on the Jimmy K show or something like that back in tw- seventeen when that album, when the original album dropped. Maybe I think it was on WSU. I, I can't know. remember. <laughs> so maybe I heard this song before. Oh, maybe I maybe. can't remember. Well, here's right. the new one. Let's hear it again. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Appreciate you coming oh my in, gosh. brother. We Thank love you. Ben. Yeah. Great to see you again. Thank you. For heard me. a bison. This song is called "Surrounded." It's Maxine Radio Civic Media. We are local music.